Hello all. Uh, this is for those that use a G15 keyboard uh, made by Logitech. Um, and how to get some of your G keys working to launch programs or whatever you want. Um, I did some reading up on forms and just various posts and I found some things out. Uh, first of all, if you have Yaoart installed, you should install that. That's to get the extra non-community packages from uh, Arch Linux. So you do a Yaoart G15 daemon, press enter, and you see here it's already installed. So control C out of that. Then you have to do a sudo. You already know this problem here anyway. So system CTL enable G15 daemon. And that will uh, tell that to run at startup. After that, um, I found a, a GUI interface to access uh, and configure your G keys, and it's called, um, again, it's on Yaller X bind key, I think. Or, yeah, X bind keys. First one here. And in order to configure that, uh, you type in X bind keys underscore underscore config press enter and you can see here I have three so far and uh, what you have to do is you have to get the key so what, so for example I'm gonna have to, whoops uh, hit new here at the bottom and remark um, so far I'm just putting in command but I can um, try uh, I want to say you want to launch GNOME system monitor, so um, system and get key. When you press that, when you hit that, a little box will come up. So now I have G4 left. So and I hit G4, and it tells me the uh, key. And right here it says uh, no symbol. I'm going to change this to what the other ones are, XF86 launch. So XF86 L-A-U-N-C-H. And command would be uh, GNOME dash system dash monitor. Now you can test it out by run action. And there it is, GNOME System Monitor. And to save this, you go File and just say Save. Oops, I'm going to zoom in a bit and try that again. Save to default file or Control S. After I uh, tried this out, uh, I did have to change this back to, to, com to command. So uh, it seems to be working now. Uh, I'll try it again. If I press G4. There it is. System monitor. Okay, so once it's saved, um, there's two files. So I'll just uh, hit save, apply, and exit. Uh, we'll close this down and open the home folder. Press Control H to unhide the uh, hidden files, the dot files. So two files you need to um, pay attention to. First one is this one, X bind key screen, and another one is X capital X mod map. So the first one will open and zoom back out so you can see what's going on. Uh, this is generated when you save the file. The last one you can see here is command GNOME system monitor. The key, uh, the number, hex number, I guess, or command key would be. 178. So I was just launching commands. It's fairly simple. This one I had to create the X mod. It's capital X dot capital X mod map. So I had to create this 
and all you do is now let me get grab that other one again the last entry was 178 so all you could all you have to do is just copy the command before and then change this 177 to 178 and same command so so far I have uh, Firefox home home folder opening uh, calculator and system monitor and one thing to keep in mind is this file you don't have this file opening when you're um, using the program the configuration program it, it won't save to it okay so I'll just unhide these I'll close and I'll press G1 that opens Firefox G2 opens the home folder G3 opens the calculator G4 opens the system monitor okay uh, so that's what I have so far I'm not complete like you can do your media keys and stuff and uh, save those uh, another critical thing is uh, when you restart um, you're gonna have to make sure it's uh, set to run at startup so you go to your uh, ses session and startup and you go to auto start application application auto start and the one I made here was G15 keys you can call anything you want but I'll double click that Oh, sorry, edit that. And I just named it G15. And here it is here. Uh, it's in the USR bin um, X bind keys. And so when you restart, G15 will start up, the G15 daemon, and then the X bind keys will start as well. Uh, so everything that you've been working on will be saved. And when you reboot, uh, it'll work again. Okay, so that's it so far. Um, any questions or comments, uh, feel free to add them because I'm fairly new at doing this uh, manually. So thanks so much for watching and take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.